How, for example, was Peugeot company created? Well, back in 1896, there was a man called Alman Peugeot, and he decided to go into the automobile industry. It was a very new and dangerous industry, so he decided that, that he personally he doesn't want to risk his own money and, and possessions, so he decided to set up a company in order to, st to try this new business of manufacturing cars. To do so, to set a new company, Alman Peugeot did roughly the same thing that shamans and priests and sorcerers have been doing for thousands of years in order to create gods and demons and ghosts and other uh, imagined, uh, imagined entities. What Armand Peugeot did was he told a story and he convinced everybody to believe in the story. For the, f for the sake of comparison, consider, for example, the way in which uh, Catholic priests create the body of Christ, God's own body, each Sunday in church during the ceremony of Mass, the most important ceremony in the Catholic uh, liturgy. How do Catholic priests create the flesh and blood of God each Sunday in church? Well, according to Catholic dogma, it's a story, eh? according to Catholic dogma, if a Catholic priest, when he is dressed in all his sacred garments and robe and hat and everything, stands in church on Sunday and carefully says the right words at the right moment, then normal bread and wine miraculously are transformed into the flesh and blood of God. The priest exclaims, hoc est corpus meum. This, this is a Latin phrase, hoc est corpus meum. It means in Latin, this is my body. Uh, it refers to the body of Christ. The priest said, hoc est corpus meum, and hocus pocus, the bread turns into God. Actually, this is the, this is the uh, origin of the magical word hocus pocus. It comes from Latin, hoc est corpus, this is my body. But all kind of ignorant peasants who didn't know Latin, when they heard the, the, the uh, priest in church says hoc est corpus meum, they didn't understand and it got jumbled in their minds to hocus pocus. And this is the origin of the magical words hocus pocus that are used to transform one thing into another thing or to create new things. Now, if you believe this story, if you believe Catholic dogma, then once the priest says hoc est corpus meum, you start to treat this object before you as if it was indeed the flesh of God and not just some ordinary piece of bread. So this is how Catholic priests create God. In exactly the same way, modern people have also their creation stories, which are, uh, some of them at least, some of the most important of them, are known as business law. According to the story of business law, if a certified lawyer dressed in all his impressive professional clothes and robes while he is at his office, if such a lawyer follows all the proper rituals, writes all the necessary spells and oaths on a wonderfully decorated piece of paper, and places his signature at the bottom of the document, then the moment the lawyer finished writing this contract and places his signature at the bottom of the document, hocus pocus, a new company is incorporated. This is exactly what Armand Peugeot and his lawyer did back in 1896. They went through this complicated ceremony of incorporating a new company. And after, <coughs> sorry, after they finished all the complicated rituals and pronounced all the necessary legal spells and legal oaths, hocus pocus, this is how Peugeot company came into being, was created. And if you believe this story, if you believe business law, then you start behaving, you start uh, treating Peugeot 
as if it really exists. Armand Peugeot, the man who created the company, he died back in 1915. Peugeot Company, which he named after himself, is still alive and well, but only in our common imagination. 